thoughts on the heart and soul for Haiti campaign here? Well, when we first heard about it, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, very impressed and pleased to hear that, um, that, you know, your school was, uh, you know, was making that an initiative and not only for themselves, but reaching out. Um, you know, it's something that I know that we talk to our kids a lot about, about, you know, being selfless and serving others and being active citizens. But, um, you know, this really kind of I think put that to a test, and as we say, you know, actions speak louder than words. So, um, you know, I think it's a phenomenal um, initiative, and as I told, uh, you know, the, the coach of Community Christian, I, hopefully this will, you know, spark more schools to, you know, whether it's this initiative or others, to, mm -hmm. to, to look for ways to, to partner. I think it's also great for teams to compete, but also to be able at times to, to partner together, you know, off the court, and um, whether it's in fellowship or in service. So, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a great initiative. Uh, absolutely. Now, what was your most memorable part of this entire experience? Um, most memorable part. Um, well, I felt that you know the the, the game was you know an, an intense but um, an intense contest. Both teams really gave it their all. Obviously, wanted to win, uh, but played with very strong character and in good sportsmanship. Um, but but I think you know honestly looking over um, and, and seeing the coaches you know without without shoes on and to be honest I first saw it when I walked in at the end of the girls game um, you know that obviously brings some things uh, you know to mind that you don't always um, think about so uh, so to to me it was it was kind of the the whole package with you know good intense athletic contest with um, you know for a good cause. Now you talked about partnering with different schools on different in initiatives. Would you be willing to partner with community again on, on something like this? Oh, or you know, anything else? Sure. You know, we'd love to. You know, I think obviously this this area, uh, you know, I think is a close knit community, and kids and families know each other from, you know, from from different uh, you know aspects of society, and you know whether it's an athletic, uh, you know, a contest that brings us together, or 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 not, or whether it's arranging an opportunity to you know get kids from different schools together to talk about you know community leadership, or to talk about other things like that, or ways that because a lot of these kids, you know, it's that they're from the same general area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I think there's there's you know great conversations and dialogue dialogue that can be had, you know, across schools. Well, like you said, you guys competed hard to start to finish. Um, this you're halfway through your season. Yep. What do you think of your guys' overall performance thus far? Well, you know, we're we're young and we're inexperienced, and, and we knew that coming in. Um, you know, it's a brand new coaching staff, and uh, so this really is kind of uh, we look at it as kind of year one um, of. I don't know if you call it rebuilding, but building a you know building a program and trying to establish a you know a culture of hard work and, and competition and um, you know we're, we're we've definitely made a lot of progress. You know I focus on distance traveled. Um, mm -hmm. You know of course we wish we uh, had won more games at this point than we have, but um, you know our guys are still maintaining a positive attitude, working hard, and you know we're excited about you know the the, the last five weeks. So um, you know we're obviously not trying not looking past the present, but we know that. This is building for you know hopefully you know several years to come. So. Coach Jordan, thank you very much for your comments. No, and thank appreciate you for being a part yep. of the game. Uh, great game, Coach. Tell us a little bit about your experience with the Barefoot. Uh, barefoot, excuse me. Tell me about your experience for Hearts and Souls for Haiti. Well, it was a good experience. Um, you know, I went to Haiti myself last year and uh, saw a lot of people who were walking around on the gravel without their shoes on, didn't have a bed to sleep in. Um, so it was a great opportunity and experience for me uh, just to be able to, um, you know, create awareness and also at the same time um, help with the admission that people brought in some shoes and hopefully we can, we can provide for some of those people who are a little bit more in need. It was a great experience. So what's your most memorable part of this entire experience? 
The most memorable part, yeah. to be honest with you, is probably the, uh, the sweet fungus that I'm going to get from walking around in that dirty locker room without my shoes on. But uh, it's, all for, it's all for a good cause. I'll be honest, that's probably my most memorable. Hey, do you think your kids learned anything from this? I think they did. Um, I think they learned that you know life's not just about us here in America, um, that we're very blessed here, and that when we get an opportunity to, to serve somebody, that it's a pretty cool experience. I think they were all pretty uh, pumped up. Could you say keys in there? Yeah. All right, Coach, your team has been improving. This is your second year on the job. Uh, there's real growth out there. What do you think of your overall performance thus far? Uh, thus far, the effort is there. Uh, my guys work their tails off in practice, and uh, we're a very tough defensive basketball team. Um, we're right now, we're just working on getting better on the offensive side and putting the ball in the hoop. Now, the, your, your player, Alex Roberts, some excellent slam dunks, some big three-pointers there at the end by Zach Sammons. Now, your team brings a lot of fire to the game. Where, where does that come from? Uh, I think it comes from themselves. They're a, good, they're a tough group of guys that uh, they are real competitive, um, and they want to you know, show their talents every time they get a chance. Uh, I just wish we would have done it for four quarters instead of uh, four minutes tonight. Coach John, thank you very much. Appreciate it.